drum roll, please. We are reading Superhero Harry books as our next series books to read. I have a few. I have The Superhero Project. I have The Recess Bully. I have The Runaway Robot. And I also have The Wild Field Trip. Oh, I really want to read this one. Um, we're going to start reading these books. Um, I'm... I'm excited and I think I found that this one was the first book in the series because it starts with his first day of school. We are going to also keep thinking about how we can become experts on characters in the books. We're going to use all, practice all of these skills, but you know, since this is the first time we're reading superhero Harry books, we're going to definitely focus on this first one where we collect information about our characters, our main characters, especially Harry, and we'll see if there's any other main characters we can collect information on. I even like took a little sneak peek before we started, and there's this page in the book that says all about superhero Harry, so that's going to help us out even more too. Well, the first book we'll read is super The Superhero Project. Let's take a sneak peek and then let's get started. Okay, so first you see superhero Harry, and he looks pretty funny to me in like a great way. He looks really silly. I see these shoes that he has on. It looks like they have rockets on them. Um, I'm also noticing on his shirt he has this famous person who I recognize right away, Albert Einstein, a very famous scientist. Um, it's this book is called The Superhero Project. So maybe it's a project he does at home or at school about superheroes. I imagine too that if he has a shirt with Albert Einstein on it, he like loves science. Okay, let's see the back. <laughs> when Harry's teacher assigns a superhero project, Harry is extra excited. He loves superheroes, so it will be easy. But does Harry really understand what it means to be a superhero? And then look, there's a picture of him falling over and some gifts and some something on his shoes. Um, reading this back blurb, the problem in the story is that he has this project that he has to do for his teacher. Oh, project at school. And um, he thinks it's going to be easy, but... He might not be able to do it, or he, it might be hard, or he might not understand what it really means. Okay, our last part of our sneak peek, our table of contents. We have chapter one, birthday boy. Oh, I bet it is his birthday. Chapter two, the first day. The first day, I wonder, the first day of school, the first day of, hmm. I really wonder that because I think this chapter one starts on the first day of school. We'll see what that means. Chapter three, the annoying day. Okay. Chapter four, the assignment. And chapter five, the results. Oh, so we'll figure out what happens at the end. Maybe he gets the assignment in chapter four. I wonder, or maybe he presents the assignment in chapter four. We'll have to see about that. Now we have this awesome page that already tells us about superhero Harry. Okay, his name is Harris. Albert Cruz. Do you think he's named his middle name is after Albert Einstein? Maybe. His favorite color is red. His favorite food is spaghetti. His favorite subject, school subject is science. His hobbies are playing video games, inventing, and reading. Idols, Albert Einstein and Superman. That makes total sense from what we noticed in the pictures. His best friend, neighbor, and sidekick a sidekick is normally when you're a superhero, you might have a sidekick that helps you do all of your superhero things, but they're like secondary to you. Latest invention, superhero rocket blaster boots. Those look cool. Okay, so if I'm collecting information, these are the things that I wrote down even before we started reading and we got from this page. Like I wrote down that he likes inventing and his BFF is Macy and to like take note who Macy is. We got a lot of information, but we don't need to take notes on all of it. Like we're not going to need to take notes that his favorite color is red probably, or that he likes spaghetti. Like that stuff probably isn't important to the problem in this story, but maybe some other things like 
his inventing and his best friend, like we'll go with the problem. We'll go with who he is as a person. We'll go with, um, how he responds to problems and like what relationships show all of those things. Okay. Let's just get started. Chapter one, birthday boy. Today is super special. It is Harry's first day of school. It is also his birthday. Harry, his mom calls, time to get up. But Harry has been up for an hour. He's working on x-ray vision goggles. They are his latest invention. Just a minute, Harry yells. Harry likes superheroes. He also likes inventing things. So Harry invents things to make him more like a superhero. The problem is Harry's inventions usually don't work. Another problem is that Harry is clumsy. These are two big problems if you are trying to be a superhero. These two things are something I'm gonna, I'm gonna write down that he is clumsy a lot and his inventions don't usually work. I think that's gonna give us some insight to who he is as a character and like what happens to him in all these stories. Once Harry invented a supersonic flying machine, he used it to fly off his bed and he fell flat on his face. Another time Harry made superhero suction shoes. He used them to climb to the top of the shelf of the hall closet to look at hidden presents. Oh, here's that picture from the back. Oh, those are suction cups on the bottom of his shoes. But the suction on the shoes didn't stick. Down went Harry. But these failures don't stop Harry. He needs, he needs super inventions to be a superhero. Superheroes don't give up, and neither does Harry. Amazing Macy to superhero Harry. Wait, what does that mean? Amazing Macy to superhero Harry. Let me keep reading. Come in, superhero Harry, over. Oh, I know what's happening. Because I know when people use this words when, they, when they're when they like, come in and over, they must be talking on like some kind of like um, walkie talkie. So she's probably saying it like this. Amazing Macy to superhero Harry, come in, superhero Harry, over. Now let's see how he responds. Copy that. Amazing Macy, superhero Harry, over. Harry replies, Macy lives in the apartment building next door. In addition to being Harry's neighbor, she's his superhero sidekick, classmate, and best friend. Superhero Harry, you have an incoming. I repeat, you have an incoming. Over. Wait, what does that mean? You have an incoming. Macy says into her walkie-talkie. Oh, they are talking in walkie-talkies. So they say over when they're finished saying their sentence. You have an incoming. Let's see what that means. Maybe it's on the next page. Oh, look at this picture. Oh, they live right next door to each other. Oh, oh, this is cool. It's like a string and um, oh, with this bucket, like it, it, I think Macy sent something to superhero Harry. Okay. Oh yeah, look, it says pulley system. Okay. Harry's happy to see that Macy is using the pulley system he invented last week. That's so cool. When the bucket reaches Harry's window, he pulls out a card. It's covered with glitter glue and superhero stickers. Thanks, Macy, Harry shouts. Use your walkie-talkie, she yells back. Oh, she's probably like, use your walkie-talkie. Thanks, Macy, over. Harry says into his walkie-talkie, see you at the bus stop. It's going to be a super day. Over and out, Macy says. It's the first day of school and my birthday, Harry says. How could today be anything but super? Chapter two. Oh, wow. Okay, I see. It looks like somebody is his teacher. It looks like other classmates. Looks like he brought something to school also. Chapter two, the first day. At school, Miss Lane crowns Harry student of the day. We have that. The entire class sings to him. We do that too. 
he even gets to pass out birthday treats at the end of the day. We do that too. While everyone is eating, Miss Lane makes an announcement. I have your first assignment, she says. Already, Macy says. Yes, already. How are you a superhero in your everyday life? Asks Miss Lane. That is your assignment. Make a presentation to show the class on Friday. Oh, okay, I wonder if that's all the instructions she gave. She just said, how are you a superhero in your everyday life? Uh, Mrs. Lane asks, that is your assignment. Make a presentation to show the class on Friday. I wonder what Harry's gonna do. I bet he's gonna invent something because he, he loves to invent things. That doesn't give me much time, Harry thinks. Everyone will vote on the best presentation. The winner will get a special prize, Miss Lane says. The final bell rings. Harry can't wait to get home. He'll get to open gifts and eat cake. Then he can start his superhero project. A real live inventor set, Harry says as he opens a gift. It says I can invent my own robot. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Oh, I wonder, you know, it says he can invent his own robot. Maybe that is a part of this story with the runaway robot. It's my turn, Aunt Gwen says. Harry opens her gift and starts screaming with excitement. Aunt Gwen's gift is the most beautiful thing Harry has ever seen. It's a shiny red superhero cape. It has gold lightning bolts on the back. Harry, this cape will give you superpowers, Aunt Gwen says. You have to believe in yourself. For real life, uh, I mean, for real live life, Harry asks. For real live life, Aunt Gwen says, smiling. Um, this is giving me some information about like the relationships, um, what the relationship with his family show, like his family, like really supports him being a superhero and they buy him all these gifts when it's his birthday and they seem to like really encourage him to like do things that he wants to do. I'm going to use the cape to help me win the superhero assignment contest at school, Harry says. What are you going to do? His dad asks. Oh, nothing much, Harry says. Just invent the greatest superhero invention ever. Okay, this is what, where we're going to stop. We'll read the next three chapters and finish the book tomorrow. Um, we've collected a good amount of information about Harry, and we'll keep collecting some more tomorrow, and we'll think about um, what, what is he going to make for this superhero project? Thanks.